Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan, and today's video we're looking at Heat Ray Sadia Letra Max. And I'm out with Miles. Uh, Miles is now out on his own, but we're just going to look at some of the work, what he can do. Now he's basically graduated to be a masterful engineer. So you can see this problem. This red light is on. If you look closer, it looks like an overheat. So it's either a circulation problem or a thermistor problem. So that's what we're going to investigate. Okay, so because it might be a circulation problem, I'm going to check that the pump is getting power. And uh, if it is getting power, then see if it's actually uh, working. So we'll get the cover off and investigate that. So I'm going to just a screw on either side. Just remove them and then this lifts up. So I'll remove this cover and trace the wire through. And you see that the brown goes down here and connects and if you see under here it connects to a fuse that protects the pump so we're going to remove this fuse here and test for continuity and check the fuse is okay so we've got the fuse out you can hear it's okay so we did those checks just going back to the basics checking the, the fuse is okay the pump's okay just your standard uh, components that need to be working so at the minute this is flashing, so we're just waiting for it to go solid and then these yellow lights will uh, will come on for the heating, for the heat, sorry. So the pump has to run or else if it comes on before the pump runs it will overheat so we're listening for that noise straight away. So you can see it's solid now and the, the yellow light's coming on and it's starting to heat up. So you can see it rising. Right, so because it takes a while to get hot, we're going to shut some of the radiators down so it heats up quicker and basically see if it modulates down. And also noted that this is uh, set to maximum. So you can see the, the lights are at the top, it's at maximum power. I mean, it'll take a while to heat up, but because the problem is that it's overheating, I'm just thinking to check that the radiators are open on the TRVs and maybe that's why it's overheating so we'll check that out now right so that's on two so we'll open up that fully this one's got no TRVs but I can feel the heat getting to it starting to warm up so this TRV you can't see it it's on, it's on four it's fully open up but I can feel this one getting starting to warm up right so we've got two radiators off and it's already modulating down also, I'm going to turn this. Uh, I'm going to turn this down to the middle, so the demand's not as high. Right, so as you can see, it's modulated down to one. So it's gone up to four, but that should come right down. As you can see, it's dropped down now, which it should. So the sensor's working. So it's coming back on again. Okay, so the conclusion is it's it's modulating up and down as it should. Uh, so it's behaving itself. I think the problem was that it was set to maximum, so it was just tipping it over the edge and causing it to overheat. So we're just going to leave it here in the middle, so it doesn't get too hot, and uh, we'll leave it like that. Also, the pressure is a bit high, so we're going to drop that down. But yeah. That's uh, that's it for this one. Yeah, so just to conclude, as you can see, the boiler we've been working on was pretty complex. And I mean, if you look at the videos, I mean, two, two and a half years ago, I didn't know a thing about gas boilers, electric boilers. So the stuff I'm doing quite now is quite advanced and going out on my own. So yeah, thanks to all the, the great training I've had. If you're interested in, in this game, this is definitely the place to go to learn quickly and competently the right things to do. So, so yeah, thanks. Hi, if you have recently passed the ACS in the past four years, I need your full attention. Now for you guys, it's crucial to put time and effort into ensuring you get the best start to your career. So what I'm saying is if you were to invest in learning and put the right amount of time into it, you would be one of the top engineers out there. So you need to learn all the do's and don'ts.
To learn from someone who has been doing the trade for over 30 years and to learn from someone who wants you to be successful. I guarantee you, if you were to invest in learning and put in the right amount of time, you would be getting way more per job than other new engineers out there. So have a long, hard think about what I'm saying, guys. The only way you're going to up your earning potential is to learn all the do's and don'ts and all the skills and know-hows is to take a leap of faith and check out what I am saying. Bet on yourself, you're going to win. A small investment for a massive return is going to be life-changing. Click on the links below to start checking out different options of training courses that we do. Do them as separate courses or do them as block courses. By the way, if you're watching this video on social media or WhatsApp, go to YouTube and click on the links in the description. And I hope to see you on the program.